Welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we are going to be working in toques. A lot of you were asking for it because you saw it in a slow motion tango, which the link is up there. If you haven't seen it, you can go and see it. And now in this case, we are going to see where to use it. But before going to the video, remember to subscribe and share. Share with your friends. Also, if you have any question, please write it in the comments below. <laughs> All right, now here in the dance floor, we are going to start working with another figure, toque for the leaders. So let's show you that. Mm -hmm. So we make a side step in this case, leading her to a low voleo, just to prepare the ochos. And on her second ocho, you have the toque, the little touch, adjust to the front position and resolution. Side step, the first part, doing a little voleo just to enter organically into the forward ocho. Here's the first thing that we should be working on. Leaders, my side step is not much larger than her. I try to do it a little shorter, actually, almost on the same line of the follower's uh, foot. So in order to rotate, and did you notice that I'm opening, uh, I will rotate one more time, sorry. I'm pivoting my left foot out, took while I'm doing this. Why? Because once, once I send her to the forward or to with my right shoulder, I'm already in position, in a close position. Can you see that? So when we are here, we do the toque, took, and we are closing the position of the hip. So one toque, and from here we can just fit together. I'm pivoting back to face her with my hip and side step, just to finish naturally with a regular resolution. So followers, this is more for the leaders, but I have a little tip for you mm. that you can apply in this case or any case of sacada, when you feel the sacada on your foot. So again, we do the same move. Before we continue, we would like to mention something very important for you. Please go to our website, miriamleonardotango.com. We have our tango school, it's called online tango training. We have downloadable courses that you can purchase or be a member of our website and have unlimited access to all of them. Now, let's go back to the second part of the video. To the side step, lo voleo, just to prepare in this case, front ocho. Now, in the front ocho, I don't feel anything on the back foot, but when he does this little toque, I feel that I, I'm extending the foot in this position, point before moving and going out. So that's a little tip. And from here we have the resolution. Mm -hmm. That's the tip that I would like to give you uh, in the case of he's doing sacada on your back foot. So it's a little move on your back foot. Let me show just that just moment that, when I am here and I feel he's doing the toque in this case. Look, if I don't do it, I may crash with his foot. So from here, I'm lowering the position and extending the point. Point your foot and don't try to go forward from this position. Escape a little bit to the side. And from here, it's easier to get to your feet together without touching his foot, without grabbing his foot by accident, without having an accident. Yes. So it's a little move out, extension, make a nice lines and rotate so you don't touch his foot. So where are we doing the toques? Every time her, she is doing a forward ocho or in a place that she stay stepping forward and she's leaving the leg behind, we can do a toque. Most of the toques leaders are going to be with the front leg. I mean, facing front. Very rare cases you may use a toque on the back, but in this case, ba -ba 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 -bam, we are going to try to focus mainly on the toques during her forward ocho. In this case, I will do several toques for now, just for you to see it. She's stepping forward. As she's transferring by weight, I'm already in position. Yes, don't let her transfer completely and the boom, kick. Arrive with time, <laughs> arrive with time, yes. And then you do the toque. You can do another toque on her back leg. Always go to her back leg with the leg that is going um, free of weight. I can change, I can do it with the other leg. Tacan, tam, pam, and toque in line, toque in circle, toque in circle. So always you can do that. 
as long as she's doing forward step and the leg, uh, the leg, the back leg is free of weight. Leo is saying toque, toque, toque. toque. <laughs> yes. Write down in comments below if you know what toque means in Spanish, in this case for this step. Congratulations guys, you made it until the end of the video. We would like to thank every one of you and especially all the people who've been contributing with a super thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You are helping us to keep growing the channel and make better videos for you. Now, enjoy the instructions. Please watch the video many times and see you on the next one. Bye, take care.